Hello, girl. Is it good girl? <laughs> Hi, everyone. Today is my end of a summer catch up. <sighs> Another warm day. We've just had the hottest weekend of the year, and my well, all of my plants have gone a bit droopy, so they're not getting that much water. But my tomato plants, because we've had the hot weather, the warm weather, it then has now started to turn all my tomatoes red, which is fantastic because they've been green for so long over the, the last few months. But anyway, what you might have just seen while I had my back to you is... I've got two units on my belts at the moment. I haven't got two microphones. I've got my mic pack as normal, but I've got something called a TENS machine. I've had the TENS, I can't remember what it stands for. However, um, I've had it used on me professionally before and it just did absolute wonders for me. So what I did was, that's nearly died. Um, what it does, is it actually gives pulses through uh, the pads at different rates to then um, just relieve the tension of whatever's happened in your in the area where it is. Sorry, I'm using my hands a lot because I'm keep on thinking about that. So let's do those. So um, I've because I had it works so well. Um, when I had it professionally done, I then had a look and was able to purchase one um, properly, um, or um, purchase one from the web, from the very well-known uh, jungle site, and that they were able to. They're not. They're not that expensive actually. They're about sixty, seventy pounds. Um, so, but to be able to just put them on whenever you have the um, have any pains over your body is absolutely wonderful because you can walk around do what you need to do and it's really really good and it's helped me over the last few months of, of summer it's helped relieve me on certain things let me put that down a minute because but what what I have done over the last summer and the reason why I haven't been able to do um, that many videos actually to for for this platform is because I've done a very large charity walk and bigger than anything I've ever done before it was a very much <laughs> hello poppet you enjoying the, the shade yes um but yes, charity walk, which um, it was a two day walk and it was for 50 miles in total over two days. And um, it, the charity is for East Anglian Air Ambulance. <laughs> I have to say it very slowly uh, because um, so I, I just call it EAAA and it's for the helicopters, um, medics that fly around in the, in the helicopters to, and go to uh, scenes. And we've got a couple in this area and that's what we, we were raising the money for. Now, East, um, East Anglian, Anglian Air Ambulance <laughs> is, when, when, I initially, when it initially uh, we were doing this, started raising money for, for them, the first posters we put up, um, the, the I put up, we <laughs> it was very funny and no one noticed it we instead of east anglian air ambulance we did it east anglia anglia oh i can't say it now east anglia air ambulance no one noticed that there was a spelling mistake in in the posters at all even the actual charity didn't realize there was a, an issue with or a, a spelling mistake in in the that so it was fine but anyway going on too much about it however the walk the walk was from um north norfolk coast blakeney and we walked 50 miles 
south southwest um, over the two days. So the first day was walking from Blakeney, set off at just before nine o'clock in the morning, and we then walked to Fakenham, which is a fairly largest um, town. And then from there, we then walked to just north of Swaffham on the first day, which was 27 point something miles. It was extremely hot, not as hot as it has been recently, but it was a very hot, muggy, sunny, sweaty day. And we were just walking the whole time. Pace was quite good as well for the whole time, which was brilliant. And there was a group of us of 17 on the first day, which was fantastic. And oh, then on the second day, we then um, we then went back to the place where we stopped, and then started walking from there, then the southwest to the with for the final um, 23 miles that we did that day. The <laughs> we got rained on. Um, we got heavily rained on for 10 minutes and in that rain it was one of those rain falls where we actually got hailstones as well we got absolutely drenched so not not it <laughs> no I'm not going to do it <laughs> but it was it was like just being showered on with this really really heavily completely got soaking soaking wet but we were only thankfully five miles from home at that point from the finish point which was good in a way because we then didn't have that far to, to walk but I was absolutely knackered that's the the best way of doing it the blisters I had was oh disgusting I um I my legs were strapped up with um some tape my feet were just awful that day and recovery has taken so long that I have only just been able to start getting back into my fabulous heels um, because I can now get I can start wearing them again but it's about three weeks it's been oh, horrible but yeah it was three weeks ago that I actually did it so I am now back into my lovely heels can walk walk, and walk around with them with no issues at all now thankfully and uh, yeah <laughs> I, I'm just amazed that I did it I will still do walks but I will never do a two-day walk for that amount of distance again um, my my legs afterwards were just completely oh it was all that walking they were just it was just so difficult to just carry on and move about and it was agony basically but anyway that was one of the main reasons I haven't been doing any videos because I've been concentrating on doing the training for that and making sure that I was fit, ready for the actual day, which I was. And everyone was, extra we were just so chuffed as a team to be able to do that. And we have raised so far over 15,000 pounds for the charity this year. Um, me personally on that one, I did over £600, which I am so thrilled with. I've never raised that amount of money. Oh, getting emotional now. <laughs> so that's how much it means to me to be able to do something. Push myself that extra mile to be able to do it. Oh, sorry. So what else have I been up to? Well... Before I did the big walk, I did do a photo shoot for one of my other platforms and I did a little bit of video with that because it was um, something completely different for me and it was fun as well. So have a look at this. Hello. What do you think of this outfit? Right, bear with me. Bit difficult on this ground to walk backwards. But I'm in this outfit for uh, one of my other platforms, but I thought I had to show you because I was doing, I'm doing photographs for another platform, but I had to show you because it's just so different. So, so different. Turn around for you. Ooh, careful. <laughs> Ground's not brilliant, unfortunately, but it's just an amazing 
amazing outfit. Just really different, Chinese style dress, and it's got the Orient Oriental design pattern on it as well, which is lovely. But of course, because of the style of the dress, I've got nowhere to put my, back, my pack. So I've just had to, for my mic, so I'm just holding it at the moment. But I've also got this fantastic wig. It's not quite right, unfortunately, but what do you think? Um, just need to sort out the, the fringe, stroke the bangs, but, but it's a bit windy. Now, I, there's some planes just about to go over, so they might be, they might be a bit noisy because they're from the local um, base, which is near here. But this is just a fantastic place. They're not as loud as they usually are. That was actually quite quiet for them. But this is just a fantastic place because it's just so flat and open and you get depth of field and you get fantastic skies here as well, um, which is why I like coming out here to be able to do some, um, some photos and stuff. But I don't know if you can see behind, I've got a water, one of the water jets are going to water the field. And I don't know if that's going to actually, to irrigate. So I don't know if that's going to be, hopefully be um, quite um, some good photos in the in the um, photographs that I'll be doing later but the sun's coming out and in and out and in there's possibly some thunder as well later but I just I thought you just needed to see this I needed to show you just some outfits that are just so different which I wear and yeah I just love it it's amazing it's a bit blowy so sorry about that <laughs> but yeah really good ah but but this style wig is so different it um it is chinesey but it isn't chinese it is a very modern style with my little pig pigtail thingy here's as well but yeah it's uh, uh very very but um i'm just trying to think of the name um cosplay that's what it, it's it's called but so let me know what you think about this very different and I just needed to show you and pop it into one of the videos that will be um, on on here later but there we go oh not used to the long hair as well because that gets in the view of where I'm going <laughs> so I will say see you later So what did you think of it? Different hair and of course the outfit as well. Um, but the, the hair was just something completely different, which I, I wanted to show you, of course. And um, I had a little bit of an issue with it because I needed to trim the, the fringe because it, it, when you buy hair pieces, um, they all have one length and then you have to wear, put it on yourself and then work out where it actually needs to be live, level. And I cut it, it wasn't brilliant. I will admit that now. Um, but what I have done is I've spoken to my hairdresser and I, she said she's happy to do um, some cutting for me of my wigs. So I'm trying to see if I can follow that up and see if she'll actually do a YouTube video f or record it with me while she actually cuts it so she can explain how it happens and also you can see how I can get the different styles on because there's many different ones but hopefully that will be something for the future and we'll be able to uh, record that but yeah I've got so many different um, hair pieces you must let me know what you think of them uh, whether it's the different colours that you like or the different styles because I've, I've worn a few now um, f over the, the time I've been doing the YouTube so you must let me know what you think about it and pop it in the comments below so yeah oh hello just caught me. 
getting the bins in, sort myself out, because I'm off to a garden party today. Well, it's called a garden party, but I expect really it's going to be a barbecue, but it's in a garden and it's a bit posh. So, hence the outfit. Uh, what do you think? Hope you like. You have seen it before, pretty certain. Um, last year, year before, wore it for a wedding anyway. So, just something a tiny bit different for a posher garden party, barbecue, stroke barbecue. But, um, been doing a bit of gardening, so I just need to put my bits away. And, oh, yeah, I'm a bit of garden. I've got a whole load of manure topsoil here, and I've got my little potting shelf, which is quite nice. But, of course, I've got to put all my tools away and lock up beforehand. So, but, I do like my little shed, uh, but needs a bit of a top up with paint at the moment. Not good, but hmm, a bit windy as well. Might need to put a jacket on, but the sun's out. It's lovely sunny weather. Had to put a new cover on my little greenhouse and it's a bit skew with at the moment. I haven't really sorted it. But and I've got my little bug got my bug house as well. That was uh, given to me. Yes, there are a few bugs in one of them. <laughs> but yeah, I've just oh and yeah, I still haven't tidied up my last little bits here. But there we go, it's just how things happen. I haven't tidied up after the the um, garden makeover, but I, I just don't know where to put things at the moment. It's trying to find things, but I that's how I am, what what I do. I think about things and then I think far too, far too long about it. But anyway, off to my garden party, got my sunnies. Um, hope to enjoy myself. She's always where I want to be. Hello you. Still in the shade, aren't you? <laughs> I don't know what it is, but every time I get one of these out, a camera, there always seems to be workman noise about. So apologies if you can hear them in the distance, but they're just banging away. And other noises, there's other, no and they've got some equipment. Oh, sunglasses. I am so <laughs> heartbroken. A week ago, let me put that down. A week ago, I got these out and they've broken. They've split. There. Just so annoyed. I've glued it. Don't know how long it lasts, but just so upset. I've had them quite a few years, actually. Actually, if I go back. 2016, so about eight years old. So they've done really well, but I'm just so, so sad. Because I do like them. They're a very well, well known brand and do like them very much, but sad, sad person. Anyway, they finished. <laughs> I've bought another lot of rope because I'm going this way first. This is what it's meant to do, which is to stop my cats from scratching the post because they have destroyed, come this way, looks fine this way, follow it round here and Mr. Cameraman, and I have just got so many lines where the cat claws have got in the way. So I am wanting to, if I show you, ball of string, rope, um, which will then become a new scratching post, which is what, look at this, that is, but look at the colour difference, Eight, but this needs redoing, 
because I've got gaps so I need to undo it all and redo it but then that one I'm going to do there as well um, I was going to do it today but I think it's a bit warm well it is a bit warm so but what I have got <laughs> need to cut the grass but if you, I've got a, a nice little pathway that my cats have now trod in the grass it's got so long that they've got their way of going out of the garden and back in again but I've got footsteps in the grass poor well not footstep poor poor steps which is so sweet but yeah let me put this down oh now <laughs> hmm have a bucket here moles oh, I could not believe what has happened the garden behind me there that way is a very large field belongs to someone he cuts it regularly and we've and it looks lovely um and he's had moles in there over the years he's had the moles and they've always been the far side of the field <sighs> how big's the field it's at least about a football fit pitch size i think maybe three one to, oh, i don't know but anyway over the years they have been these moles Every summer, you see the mole hills getting closer and closer and closer. This year, first year I've had my garden completely redone, and it's the first year where it's had 12 months of as it is, I get a mole. And so, trowel, pokey thing, canes to keep that down, another thing. I didn't like using it, but the amount of damage the moles have done, disgusting. My the, initially, it was over by the shed, and then that was one morning and just thought nothing of it. And then there was another one, which was towards a flower bed. And then it was just a, next one there. And it was a small little clump about that big and that's when I first saw it I thought right need to deal with that just went and put some clothes on because I it was very first thing in the morning five minutes later huge it already got a big so that was it I'd already got the mole trap oh can't get up oh mole trap and put it down then I put the casing over the top sprung within I don't know 24 hours and it was kind of okay fine looked nothing redid it I thought right need to put it properly and because I think madam had actually sprung it because she was digging at it so I then went right put that over the top clamped it down with some pins and then next within two three hours sprung again i went yes that was number one i was <laughs> it was it was one of those got it heart-wrenching that i've killed something because i don't like killing things but i've got it fantastic and then put everything back and then things started to move again and i was thinking have i got another one so dug dug up more more soil Put the trap back down and in the meantime i then realized the amount of holes which were in my borders and all my bedding flower beds far too, they, they, he was he'd just gone mad 24 hours later sorry for the noise 24 hours later caught another one much bigger <sighs> really happy then talking to my neighbors um <laughs> <laughs> you're beautiful aren't you puppet yes you are talking to my neighbours that down that way and the uh, chap who owns the field as well they'd caught three he'd caught six we'd caught two sorry for the planes hold on <laughs> they're going to make too much noise those aeroplanes but anyway um, I think at that point we'd then caught everything 
and it was just kind of whew. but the damage that's been done has just been amazing but anyway for the final what else has happened it's got to be something there's something else I need to talk to you about great news I went to see my surgeon so this summer or this spring summer I had my surgery at the end of March beginning of April um, to replace my implant and I saw my surgeon in August which is now can I do this without her going for me no she'll go for me <laughs> um, I saw my surgeon in August so um, I had three months of additional medication just to try and hopefully sort out any issues that I had. And when I saw my surgeon, he was beaming, smiling, a very, very happy chap. And I was thrilled because he's really pleased with how my surgery has gone and how I've recovered from my surgery as well. And you're a bit dusty. Um, and he doesn't want to see me, thankfully, for two years, which is amazing. And it's such a lovely feeling to know that, yes, I had yearly checkups with him because of issues, but for him not wanting to make an appointment um, with me for another two years is absolutely amazing. So I am so chuffed, so really happy. So that's the best bit of news for me out of all of my updates and what's been going on. So raise money, done loads of things this summer and um, had my cats to enjoy <laughs> haven't I yes thank you <laughs> but but now for me it's my update's over I need to just go inside and cool off because I am very hot but I've got some more filming coming up as well for for you to do so um let uh, not for you to do for me to do for you I'll get this right but um Hopefully there'll be more of it. My work has changed during the summer as well, so I haven't gone to um, view um, different filming locations. So I will work, see what I can do with my new work, but um, I'll, uh, I'll find out what I can do with that during the next uh, few weeks and, of course, updates for you. So hope you enjoyed that, and um, I will see you next time. <laughs>